Love is a very powerful thing, you know, and I'll tell you all why. My husband and I, we have both been under the weather for about two days. But today he got up and he said, Mika, you know what I could eat today? Mind you, we have not eaten anything solid for those days. He said I could eat this. And so I got up with my skin, not feeling like if I could cook. But I couldn't blank him. Because during those two days, we weren't feeling well. He still got up and went out to get me fluids to make sure that I had something to put on my stomach. And for some of you, that may be insignificant. But the biggest baby you could find is a sick man. And that sick man was up and about making sure that I had something to put on my stomach. And to be honest, the request wasn't a hard one. He wanted macaroni pie with stew peas and fish. So I placed up my water on the fire, put in some salt, placed the macaroni to boil while the macaroni was boiling. I made a mixture with cheese. I had some fresh coconut juice. So I placed that inside there and with some seasoning and I blended that together. Once my macaroni was finished boiling, I strained it and then I went in with some butter inside there. I mixed it until the butter melted and honestly it wasn't a hassle because the macaroni was hot. So it was easy peasy, lemon squeezy, the butter melted really quickly. Now I'm going in with that mixture we made earlier on. And we're going to mix that in with our macaroni. Next, I'm going in with some saffron. No, some turmeric powder, sorry. And I'm using some black pepper. And you may want to know why I use some turmeric. But sickness of a way does make you remember some strange things. So there was this old man in church and he used to say... Let your food be a medicine and your medicine be a food. And I remember growing up, we used to laugh at him because we used to say that he making flour from mortal seed. Mind you, this man lived three score and ten that God has promised, had promised, and he lived beyond that. He lived to see the hundred and change. And when we used to be laughing at him, probably he used to be laughing at us because he made everything that he ate. He hardly bought stuff from the groceries. He ate natural. But anyway, I placed it after putting in that saffron. I went in with some salt. And luckily you can taste this. So you would know what you need to put. If you need to add more salt or not. Then I placed it in my dish. And topped it with my cheese. Then I placed it in the oven to bake. Next, I placed up a pot on the fire. And I'm going in with some sugar. And we're going to brown that sugar. We're going to allow it to caramelize a bit. We don't want it to get too dark. I have some lentil peas that I have washed before. And we're going to go in with that lentil peas in there. And we're going to brown it for a bit. So it's going to look like this. And you now I have some stuff that I had chunked. I had some pumpkin, some onions, garlic, um some ginger, some flavor pepper or pimentos, and I have some shadow benny and two leaves of bay leaf. So I'm going to place some water in that piece now and then I'm going to add in all those seasoning and I'm going to put some salt in there. We're going to give it a mix and I'm adding some more water before I cover it and allow it to simmer. So after a while, this is what it looks like. It's already soft and nice, but I'm going to go in with some coconut milk, a bit of coconut milk. I'm going to allow that to, to dry down some more. I tasted the peas and it wanted some more salt. So I'm here, I'm going in with some salt. And I also added some onion powder, I think, as well. So my pies are out of the um, oven and the peas is cooked. And while you all weren't looking, I placed up a towel with some butter and did the fish. Now it's pretty late and I didn't eat any of this food, but my family enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoy my video. God bless you. I love you. Bye.